What's up guys? Today I'm here at the practice space and I figured I would just kind of show you what it takes to get all of my equipment, uh, triggers, drums, uh, tables, stands, everything that I need to play a show into my Toyota, which is a small four-door car. And so I figured I'd just show you what the process is to get everything in there in a way of like Tetris, I guess. So stick around. And if you like this video, definitely subscribe and let's check it out. So here's all the equipment. Well, here's the two stands. I have the kick drum, the pedals, hi-hat stand. I have the drums already tuned. Snare drum is in there. Uh, floor tom. And I have some of the extra things that I use. Uh, cymbal bag. And this is actually like a big, big, big thing right here. All of my electronics, all of my things that I need during the show, and everything that I could possibly go wrong is going to be fixed by this case right here. So I got this case, uh, it's like a military grade case, and it's a super awesome case because when I'm ready to play a show, I could just bring this in, set my laptop right here, and then when I'm ready to play the show, I just pop it out. So I have slots for everything that I've made, and it just works really well to be able to just open it up get what you need and get out. So I have everything from everything that I need for the triggers. I have extra cables. I have um, extra in-ear monitors. I have um, little extra ones of these headphone adapters uh, just in case. I have extra drum keys. I have extra USB cables, drum tuner, DIs, in-ears, pen, everything you could think of uh, that you possibly could need to run your in-ear monitors, your lights, your triggers, everything's right in here. So it's really easy for me to just kind of drop everything in here and forget about it. Now, for some of these stands, I like to buy the stands. Um, I don't know if you can see this one, but the pole actually goes through the stand on the inside. So this one as well, this is the one I use for my China. Um, it's really awesome because you can kind of loosen these guys up. Let me do this one more hand. You can loosen them up. And now that it's loose, I like to have um, everything as easy as possible. But for this, it's one of those things that it's a slightly a hassle, but it just, it's definitely easier when you're trying to pack it up. So I like to just bring this, and then as you can see, I can just put it right inside and it just packs really well just like that. Also you want to make sure that um, what I like to do is I like to use the same stand. So I kind of write on here with Sharpie. This is the China one. This is the ride right over here. And I have multiple stands for different things. So for example, this one's a little bit more heavy duty just because I have a heavy symbol and I have uh, this clamp right here. Now you wanna make sure that when you're loading your stuff up that you take note in what things look like and the um, if they need to be replaced or something like that. Another thing I wanna mention is I use this stand right here which is connected to my toms as a reference. So that way when I'm setting this stand up, I can just set this and this at the same height and then I know that's the same height that I should be at. With this one, I just use the tom. So once my toms are set up here, I use this tom and these other ones to kind of set them to the same level and then that tells me that I'm good to go. Um, another thing is to break down your stands as short as you can uh, without um, kind of slicing your fingers or making sure that you can't undo it later. Sometimes all these parts and uh, stuff like that will kind of get in the way. So you want to make sure that you're breaking it down as much as you can, but at the same time making it easy for you to set it back up later. Now I do see a lot of people uh, kind of just grab their pedals, uh, their kick pedals. I use these trick pedals, which are fantastic. They're also really expensive, but I see people just grabbing them from here and just throwing them in their car. Don't do that. Get yourself a case, a hard case. Pelican cases sell some really good ones. I picked this one up and the green one up for about 120 bucks for both of them. So 
they're out there, just look for them. If you're in the Orlando area or any of those cities around, just let me know and I can tell you where to get some cheap cases. I'm pretty uh, cool with the guy. So just let me know and I can refer you to him. But definitely make sure that you're not just throwing your pedals into your car and then peace out. That's it. No, definitely don't want to do that. Um, another thing I want to mention is use your cymbal bag. If you don't have one of these nice cymbal bags, I recommend you get one of these. The only downside to these is as you put more heavier cymbals, it kind of just starts to um, tip over from the front, but that's not that big of a deal. You just put it up against something. Um, here's where I keep my floor tom legs. I keep um, my extension cord for my electronics and definitely bring a practice pad so that way you can practice before the show. And this is my cymbal bag, it's from Promark, and it has a practice pad built in so I don't have to take extra things. So try to use all of the space that you have with you so that way you have to put less in your car, especially when you have a small car like, like a Toyota. All right, so here's all my stands broken down. Here's the cymbals, all the equipment except for the drums. So the first thing we're gonna do is load the trunk. You wanna make sure your trunk is all the way empty and if you can see on the inside of the trunk, there's this little divot right here. We can use that for our advantage to kind of put in some things in there. And then we're gonna basically put all of our cymbal stands in there and then followed by a couple drums. So I'll show you what it looks like with all of these cymbal stands going into the trunk. All right, so that's all the stands. So basically what I've done is I've tried to utilize all the space. So I put all of the short ones all along the end or the deepest part of the trunk and then followed by the tallest stands all the way with all the extra equipment. Now from there, that gives me this whole side right here of the trunk to be able to play with. And as you can see, I put my drumstick bag right there and my drum thrown right in there. So I'm trying to utilize all the space that I possibly can, especially going vertically. Um, so next is going to be to put uh, as many drums as I can in the back here while being careful with um, the actual drums themselves. Perfect, so I have my snare drum in here, my floor tom, I have my small tom there, bigger tom, and then bigger tom right here. And so what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm gonna try to use this space right here to try and put my table. Um, and then basically the kick drum's gonna go on the back seat. And uh, the other two things is gonna go on the, right, on the back seat with that as well. And that's it. So as you can see, I'm trying to utilize all the space and fill it up as much as I can so that way things don't kind of rattle around. And you wanna make sure that you're careful about these things right here. So I've tried to, I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to not have that hit anything. And obviously it's things are gonna shift and move as uh, you drive around, especially if you're driving long distances. Um, so definitely wanna make sure that you remember about that. All right, so the trunk is ready to be closed. So let's just go ahead and close it now and let's just make sure that it works. And boom, there it is. All right, so the kick drum is in and um, I don't know, I drive pretty far back on the seat, so I haven't really found that this is much of a problem, but I have my pedals right there, kick drum in here uh, as the side, and I like to leave this uh, open here, so that way there's a little bit of play. And um, let's go to the other side, and I'll show you guys how we pack the rest of the things. All right, so here we have the symbols and the electronics. Technically, if you really wanted to, um, I could put that and this kind of standing up here in the middle um, and then put this there. Um, but for the show I'm doing, um, I think I'm only gonna have to ride back with one person. Uh, so my girlfriend's gonna sit right in the front seat. So at least that gives her some space. Um, but I have, had times where I've had to bring two people with me and with that usually I do what I said uh, kick drum goes there this goes there and then these two kind of go right here and the, the person in the back basically just kind of has to uh, tough it out and either hold something or just be cramped um, that's just the sad reality of it but that's basically it that's the whole shebang so that's it guys, um, definitely stick around for more. I'll try to be more consistent with posting these as always, but 
Hopefully you got something out of this. Let me know how you fit your drums in your car, what kind of car you have. Um, definitely um, drop me a message and let me know if this has helped or something like that. So we'll just catch you on the next one.